<laughs> no way! Oh gosh! All right, I gotta put the phone down. Land this bit. Well, welcome back you guys. My goodness, does it get any prettier? My plan today was to work. I thought it was supposed to blow north at 15 to 20 this morning. I woke up and it was calm. My friend Telford Smith from up in Nags Head said he was going drum fishing. Encouraged me I should get after it. So you know what? Got the kayak geared up. I had to uh, put some braid on my uh, Tsunami Shield 4000. I got 30 pound braid on there. I've also got the Tsunami Evic 3000 with some 20 pound braid on there. Kind of light tackle for the big drum, but I'm excited for it. We got the kayak. I'm gonna paddle out here and I'm just gonna look for them. These big schools of drums swim on top of the water. The hope is I find them. There's a ton of birds. I see a bunch of slicks. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out there and try and get them. Yeah, I'm gonna get suited up. I got a all two mil old O'Neill suit from like five years ago. Don't mind getting that thing all fishy. I'm gonna put the GoPro Max 360 cam on there. I've also got my Hero 8. See if we can pull this off, you guys. Pretty excited. So I'm gonna get to it. The wind is supposed to like come up and come around later, but I think I got a good hour or two and hope you enjoy the ride. Let's get after it, you guys. I'm losing it. They're boiling on the surface like 300 yards out right now. They just started going off as I was putting my wetsuit on. Let's go. Oh my God. You guys, they're all over the surface. It's like a football field size of them. This is about to be insane, y'all. There's so many of them. They're everywhere. They're coming out of the water. Oh my gosh. Here we go, first cast. Top water proper. They're all over me. They're all under it. Straight into him! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They are everywhere! Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is even happening? Is this real? Wait, the lens off. There's big drum everywhere. What? They're hitting my boat. I'm hooked up. Oh, this can't be real. I just got my kayak like three minutes ago. <laughs> no way. Oh, gosh. All right, I got to put the phone down. Land this bit. <laughs> what? I 
I can't believe this is happening. I've never in my life. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> what a blessing. I literally was in the kayak for like three minutes and they popped up on the surface right next to me. Oh my gosh, there's a whole football field of them going off up there too. What in the world? I gotta say, the Shield 4000 is handling them. Oh, he's going the other way. Oh, let's see if he can turn the boat around, pull us back towards his buddies. <laughs> I can't believe it. Whoa, there he goes. Oh, pull off. Nope, never mind. We are just tangled on another, another fish. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, did I break it off? Oh, no. Wow, there's so many fish that get tangled in my line. One of them swims that way, pulls the line out. Carbon shield two rod, fast action, seven six. This one's rated up to a one ounce lure. This is a fun rod to fight these things on. They're still all right in front of me, but they're going off up there too. Oh my gosh, this is the craziest thing. This is the craziest thing I've ever done fishing. This is so cool. I did the same thing last year, but there weren't, it wasn't like as good a condition. <laughs> that was sick. Got him. So it was hard to see him. I can see him everywhere. Oh my gosh. There he is. Yes. Woo. Seven six is nice for the kayak to be able to get them around the tip. Open that bail up. Oh yeah. Look at that big drum, y'all. <laughs> oh, he's not huge. 30 some inches. See if there's some bigger ones out here. Get this guy unhooked and get him back in the water. Go on, big buddy. Go back to your friends. <laughs> Did it! Been out here five minutes. Got him one. Look at him. Look at him. We're just gonna paddle into him and enjoy this. <laughs> this is amazing. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was a big boy. That was a big boy. There's so many of them back there. They're just everywhere, you guys. Wow, that's beautiful. It's funny, like once you catch one, you're just like, okay. And you just want to watch them. I mean, I want to catch more, but this is just so fun to watch. All right, so that one was caught with the topwater popper and the Tsunami Shield 4000 with 30 pound braid. Now we're gonna go with the bucktail and the Tsunami Evic 3000 with 20 pound braid. Let's see how how it handles it. I don't know how long it <laughs> Didn't even have to jig it. It's like cheating. Ooh. Love the way this. Oh. Love the way this Evic feels on these fish. That shield, I'm cr it's crazy how strong it was for how small it is. Those shields are cheap too. They're under a hundred bucks. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. My friend Jason Forrest is grabbing his kayak to come out here. Um, my goal is to catch this one and then just kind of try and stay on where they're at so I can put him on some. He's never caught a big one before. 
This is the Carbon Shield 2 rod as well. Fast action, 7.6. This one's rated up to, I think, three quarters of an ounce. It is, it is just a sea of drum out here. Like this is, oh my gosh, they're on top over there. Ah, oh, this is just so cool. You always gotta be mindful you don't let the fish pull you into the shoals. So, I, even though right next to me a minute ago, they were just going off on top, I didn't wanna hook up right by the shoals. So, there's fish everywhere. I paddled up here to make the cast. I mean, there are literally fish everywhere. Hundreds of yards that way, I can see red underneath of uh, the water. Oh, this one's a bit bigger than the last one. <laughs> Got that tsunami bucktail in his mouth. This Evic 3000, this is a 3000 reel, y'all. It is handling. 20 pound braid, this is fun. Hey, buddy, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got 50 pound leader on both my rods. I tie a bimini in my braid and then tie it to the leader with a double uni. Some people might say it's overkill, but I only get, wow, I only get to do this so many times, so I don't want to, you know, be losing fish due to bad knots or slip knots or whatever. Come on up, big boy. <laughs> get up here. <laughs> Oh, can't believe I'd stumbled upon this. There will be links in the description to all these, all these uh, reels and rods. Check them out, Tsunami Tackle. Look at that guy, woohoo! Pretty fish, Tsunami Bucktail right in the mouth. I think it's a one ounce bucktail. Hey, big boy, <laughs> this is a nice one. Oh, come here, oh yeah, woo! Oh, Nelly! Oh, that's what we came out here for. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Boom. Get back out there. Let's go catch some more. Oh, they're back on top again. Hang on. current has brought us back out onto the shoals. We're officially, you see the water getting all turned up. It's time to get moving. Let's uh, get further away from this current and try and catch some more. I got some paddling to do though. You definitely don't want to come out here if you all know what you're doing. Oh, this is what I wish I had a pedal kayak. Woo! Be riding those waves. Yeah, he's on! He's on! Jason Forrest hooked up with his first big drum. Welcome to big drum fishing and sleigh rides. Your first sleigh ride. Here, I'm gonna join you. I'll hook up in the back. Look at the back of the school behind you. Look. Whoa, I caught... No way, I, hit, I hooked the albacore. No, I wanted the drum. Hook the albacore. No. Silly little albacore. I know, I'm like wondering what I got. You got a drum, dude. That's good bait right there. Tuna the belly. I'm going to keep that guy. It's not the target species, but fun on the Tsunami 3000 Evic. Right here, some good drum bait for the beach. I don't have a cooler, but I'm gonna keep them. Maybe try and get. Oh, let's go follow Jason, guys. Do it. Oh, you did? Do you still see him?
What just happened? That was insane. That was the cra some, one of the craziest fishing moments of my life. Was literally putting the kayak into the water and they just went off on top. Like right in front of me, directly in front of my truck. Caught one on top water, filmed them and watched them for a bit. Caught one on a bucktail. Yeah, I was trying to get my friend Jason out here and I didn't really expect it to turn off, but it, it ended up turning off. He got out here. We finally found a little school, nothing bit, like nothing like I'd been seeing. Hooked up, but he just had too light a tackle. Snapped one off and that was it. I think the tide's gone out. The fish have pushed offshore more. I think I keep seeing them popping up, but the way the current's going across the shoals, I don't want to go play out there. So I'm stoked. I'm going home. Content. And uh, anyway, that's it. I'm just I'm gonna keep this quick. I mean, that was just two fish. And then I just watched them and hung out and it, it was so beautiful to see. And, Thankful to take you all along for the ride. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Hopefully next time I can get Jason on one. <laughs>